What's up everybody? It is Matt from Electric All Wheel. Uh, first, let me give a special thanks to Steve from Wired for going out on a limb and being the better person and offering to assist with uh, the procurement of parts for eSales bikes. Uh, eSales has gone out of business. I spoke to Steve earlier today and um, told him that I would get the connector types for the five star that I have on hand. This is a five star with the torque sensor. I'm going to get him the model number of the controller, the motor serial and model number. We're going to get the model number for the display as well, and then take him through a video of the wire connectors just so he can see them. I've already gotten some photos for them. I've set this up with dual battery uh, with a kit from Electric All Wheel. Just know that the connectors for the battery are XT90. Um, and then the rest of it you will see. Anyone who took Electric All Wheel's advice and went forward with an e-sales purchase, we apologize. Uh, we still stand by the quality of the bike itself. I will die on that sword, but I cannot uh, condone the business acumen of e-sales the company and we are sorry for the unfortunate events that have happened. Um, I know a lot of you out there are pretty stuck. There are some of you who do have bikes and need parts, and that is who this video is for. Um, I'll get this cut, get it to Steve, and hopefully he can get started, and we at Electric All Wheel will start looking for sourcing the parts as well. It's anticipated that uh, the display might, from the, the display from the, Freedom 2024 might work with the e-cells. We will just have to figure out the pin orientation on the output of the display so that we can line up the five pin mini J and the Gillette connector of the wired Freedom and then make sure that the orientation is correct. What might be the white wire at the top of one wire connector is definitely not going to be that for anything Dave Cleveland did um, he certainly tried to main, pro maintain a proprietary uh, setup. So uh, that's what this video is for. Uh, we're just going to get to it. Okay, motor cable out of the controller. Female pin, male connector style. This is a 10 pin connection, three large phase wires, fiber on the top, two on the lower with the slot orientation here male connector. This is a Hygo brand connector. Hygo. This is off of the controller. Male connector style female pin. Lights off the controller. Female three pin Joulette. This is a Hygo connector. Three pin waterproof Joulette style connector. Female off the controller. Male to the lights in the rear. Main cable harness. This is a mutual connection. This is a nine pin connector, female off the controller, male on the main cable harness. Mutual. Torque sensor. Six pin, high go, waterproof. Female off the controller, male on the torque sensor itself, six pin. And that's it. Power connection, solid core, wire, XT90S connectors. I told you before, I already set them up and they are heat shrinked in and I don't want to cut it loose. Uh, XT90 is pretty common. Uh, the typical orientation is seen for this. So we've got it, main cable harness, motor, power, lights, torque sensor. There's motor cable to the motor, female connector, male pins, 10 pin. All right, the light 
Off the light is a female two pin waterproof Julet typical. On the harness, it is the male waterproof Julet. These are Hygo connectors. No, these are mutual connectors. That is interesting. All right, mutual connectors. For the main harness, all of them mini J's. Mini J two pin for the brakes, mini J five pin for the display and then mini j three pin for the throttle they're all female off the harness the only male connection is the light the display display is kt lcd 8 hup v1 4ds 60 volt the controller is the KT60Z WSR LTD ZYXF 01T? I'm assuming T is for torque sensor. 60 volt DC, 20 amp rated current. Cutoff, I believe, is like 50 plus or minus 2. Um, the usual suspects. Motor, Hintock YXDG 1500 watt. I'm sure this is. Manufacturer information for date range 2404S2042-021. Did not check the voltage on this light, but the Dual Star runs the voltage and I believe it's system voltage, so uh, all the way up to 60 plus for the light. This is the electric all-wheel aftermarket thumb throttle that's on here uh, so don't think that this is normal all right this is a six pin re-engine connection The outer pins are live. I do know that this condenses down into a two line connection at the XT90. So it is not running six independent wires all the way to the XT90. It does break it down on the back side of this connector. So it condenses into positive, negative, and then runs to the XT90 all the way down the body. I think that's it. A lot of people out there spent thousands of dollars getting their e-cells and I, I feel for you. Um, so we're going to go through, we'll go through this one. We've been through the Kingstar. If you take a look at that one, we'll check out the connectors for you. Just do it again. And then we'll get through the dual star. Everybody out there in YouTube land, anyone from e-cells or anyone that has an e-cells that can get down there and confirm the cadence connection for the controller and then the model number for the cadence five star please shoot me an email at electricallwheel at gmail.com with a picture of that the model number and then the connector type that's coming out of the frame so that we can get that out there for the people that need it hell i got nothing left um i'm really sorry for anybody that's jammed up with this we'll talk to you next time